if Allah has taken something away from you, it's not a sign that he is upset with you. And if Allah has given you something, it is not necessarily a sign that he is pleased with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes takes away things from us because he loves us. And sometimes he gives us certain things as a test for us. Sometimes it is just before the punishment comes that Allah gives someone so much and they become confused thinking Allah is happy with me. My brothers and sisters, what we need to know is it all depends on your relationship with Allah. If you are trying your best, if you are seeking forgiveness, Allah says, I will never punish you while you are seeking forgiveness. So one of the ways of diverting punishment is to seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that case, he says he will not punish those who are seeking his forgiveness. While they are seeking forgiveness, they are engaging in such a great act of worship that the punishment of Allah stops. But remember, if you are developing your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are trying and you have tried to fulfill your obligations, stay away from the prohibitions. Then if Allah were to take something away from you, it is a blessing. And if Allah were to give you something, it is a blessing as well. Because your relationship with him is good. You are trying. It's all about trying. My brothers and sisters, none of us will achieve perfection. We were created as human beings and we're not perfect. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was perfect. The messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may peace be upon them, were on a different level. But you and I, we are just ordinary human beings, subhanallah. We will not be able to achieve that perfection. Our duty is to keep trying. That's it. If you are trying, you will achieve the pleasure of Allah. When you are trying with Allah, you must be confident that anything that happens in your direction, that comes in your direction, that happens to you while you are trying, can never be a punishment of Allah. It is only a test. Sometimes it is a blessing that you don't recognize right now, but you will in the near future. It's Allah's way of touching our lives. But when a person is far from Allah, not bothered about Allah, turned away from Allah, never trying anything, nothing makes them regret. In that case, Allah says, when we've given them, it may just be the prelude to the punishment. When we've taken away from them, it may just be a punishment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. My brothers and sisters, Allah explains this beautifully in verse number 44 of Surah Al-An'am. When he says, those who forgot us completely, we opened all the doors of materialism for them. Every materialistic door there was, was flung open for them. And they were confused because when they were so happy, drowning in materialism in a way that they forgot us even further, we suddenly punished them. They were confused. Why the confusion? Because they were thinking that Allah is happy with us because he's given us. Allah says, no way. There were people much better than you, whom we did not give as much as we've given you. We were pleased with them far more than we would ever be pleased with you. But we didn't give them as much. Because giving does not necessarily depict the pleasure of Allah. The pleasure of Allah is in the worship of Allah. When you are trying to develop a good relationship with Allah, He gives you the comfort. He gives you the contentment. He takes you out of the crisis. He makes you believe that whatever has happened is only good. If it's come in my direction and I know that I've got a good relationship with Allah, it cannot be bad. Take it in your stride. Bear patience. Allah wants you to bear patience. Isn't patience an act of worship that is rewarded as Allah says, Allah definitely gives those who bear patience their recompense without a limit, unlimited. Your reward is unlimited with Allah when you bear patience. So Allah wants you to bear this beautiful patience. Allah says, 
فلما نسوا ما ذكروا به فتحنا عليهم ابواب كل شيء when they forgot whatever they were reminded about we opened the doors of everything material for them حتى اذا فرحوا بما اوتوا when they were happy with what they got and they were excited drowning in whatever they got you know sometimes when people have a lot of wealth they only think of doing the wrong things with that wealth they forget about doing the right things preparing for the hereafter being charitable being humble they do all the opposite so allah says akhadnahum baghta we suddenly punished them we took them we swiped them suddenly fa idha hum mublisun they were confused what why is allah doing this weren't we among the chosen ones from allah didn't he actually give us so much Now you're talking subhanallah Allah says you forgot us completely don't be confused so my brothers and sisters this is a very very interesting piece of advice when Allah's taken something away from you it is not necessarily a sign of his anger nor is it his punishment no if your relationship with him is good it was a good thing and the opposite is true if allah's given you something it's not necessarily a sign of his pleasure so don't be confused are you from among those who's developed a good relationship with allah when you've got things if the answer is yes then you're a good person allah loves you you're on the right page in your relationship with allah but if all your blessings and your wealth and your power and your looks and whatever else allah's given you has made you proud arrogant haughty deceptive turned away from allah no longer worshiping allah forgetting allah doing as you please immorality and everything prevailing then that's not a good thing it's not a sign of the happiness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that whenever you hear people in a meeting in a gathering Whenever you hear people blaspheme Allah, speak bad about Allah, say nasty, dirty, ugly things about Allah or even about others, Allah says, turn away from them. Don't participate in that meeting, that discussion. Don't be a part of it until they change the topic to something good. So this is also goodness that Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is teaching us in verse number 68 of Surah Al-An'am where Allah tells us wa idha ra'ayta alladhina yakhuduna fi ayatina fa'rid 'anhum hatta yakhudu fi hadithin ghayrih whenever you see people who are uh, talking bad about our signs making a mockery of our signs or uh, being evil mouthed about our own signs about Uh, that about Allah and his messengers his signs etc Allah says turn away from them until they change the topic or they speak about something else and so on this verse is showing us not to participate in bad if there is a group of people and they're doing good be a part of them it will bring about a lot of comfort if there is a group of people and they're doing bad or saying bad things oppressing others doing wrong making a mockery of goodness don't be a part of that abstain stay away until they change the topic or they change their ways so what we're learning here is when you want comfort and if you want comfort make sure that you don't participate in a crisis make sure you don't participate in negativity only participate in that which is positive that which is good that which is filled with goodness blessings and reaching out to people in a positive way that is the message that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has for us and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us also in a beautiful way that never be judgmental when it comes to people who greet you people who are good even if they come across poor didn't we learn a few minutes ago that when allah's given you it's not necessarily a sign that he's happy with you when he's taken away from you it's not necessarily a sign that he is upset with you sometimes he takes away from you because he loves you so allah says when you see the believers who don't have much and there is a reason of revelation of this verse verse number 54 of surah al-an'am there is a reason of revelation but without going too deeply into it when you see those who don't have much the poor the downtrodden when you see them as believers they are believers in allah 
You know, you walk into the masjid, you walk into some place, you see someone, they're looking uh, like good believers, but perhaps they might be poor. They might not have much. They might look like they're downtrodden. Their clothes may be tatty, in ruins, etc. They may be homeless. Allah says, you know what? Give them importance. Amazing. Give them importance. The weakness of man. We tend to give importance to people who are similar to us or more powerful or they look higher than us in terms of worldly things. And Allah's warning us to say, don't be that way. Reach out to those who, who are not on your level as well materially because they may be on a higher level in their relationship with Allah. It should bring tears to our eyes. Imagine a friend of Allah in the masjid, in tatty clothes or homeless, he could still be a friend of Allah. You ignored him. You treated him badly. A beggar, Allah says, Wa amma sa'ila fala tanhar. When a person is begging, don't ever rebuke them. They might just be a friend of Allah. You plunge yourself into a crisis simply because you maltreated someone whom Allah loves so much just because they didn't have something material that you had. Allahu Akbar. Learn to greet people, learn to respect people, no matter who they are. The poorest from amongst us, the homeless from amongst us, those who come across like they have absolutely nothing from this worldly material provision. Sometimes they are the closest to Allah. Allah says, وَإِذَا جَاءَكَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِنَا فَقُلْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ كَتَبَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ الرَّحْمَةِ when the people come to you who believe in our verses, say to them, Salamun Alaikum, peace be upon you. Allah has written for himself mercy. Allah is the most merciful. He will have mercy and he will forgive those who have wronged when they turn back to him. My brothers and sisters, beautiful lessons to Assalamu Alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too. So please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.